uh, Tyson Campbell. Tyson? How are you doing? All right, to get us started with Tyson, we'll go to Seth Emerson and then Mike Griffith. Tyson, I guess uh, last Friday, how'd you find out the game was off? What was your reaction to it, and what'd you do with the rest of your weekend? Uh, we got a text uh, letting us know that the game had been canceled. Uh, I, was, I was pretty disappointed, but, you know, with this season, you know, you got to expect the unexpected. So, you know, it just gave us a chance to relax and rest our bodies and uh, try to – well, well, I did. I, I tried to, you know, do some work, try to finish this semester off, right? Tyson, uh, Coach Smart was up there talking a minute ago about uh, the Missouri offense. Can you elaborate on what makes this offense uh, so good and, and how much of a challenge will this be for your defense? Um. You know, Missouri, you know, is a very talented offense. Uh, they got a lot, a lot of talented players. Uh, they got a good uh, tempo uh, to their game. And uh, they're versatile. They can run the ball and pass the ball. So, you know, we're, we're, we're up to the challenge, and we're going to accept it and game plan correctly. Follow up, uh, last time you were there, you, you, good memory, bad memory. I think you had a scoop and score, but also a shoulder. When you, when you head to Missouri, what kind of feelings uh, do you attribute to that place? Oh yeah, uh, you know, it always bring good memories. Uh, scoring my first touchdown, uh, you know, but uh, you know, this is a new year, so I'm, I'm trying to make you know bigger plays, more plays, you know, than I did my freshman year at Missouri. Next, we'll go to Chip Towers and then Jake Rowe. Yeah, Tyson, I, I wonder, do you remember any of your preparations and study and and film review and all of that the week that y'all were getting ready for the Missouri game and how much different do you think they are? Have you been able to quantify that comparison? Uh, yes. Uh, I remember, you know, pretty much the game plan that we had uh, a couple weeks prior uh, to this game. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, they're on a the roll. They're on a, a winning streak right now. Um, but, yeah, uh, we, we just prepare the same way we prepare for any other team. Tyson, uh, you, you know, you guys, I guess you played a little bit better against South Carolina, uh, did have a guy go for over 100 yards against you. But, you know, the, the secondary, you guys came in with such high expectations and you've kind of had some struggles, miscommunications, blown coverage, and stuff like that. Uh, how important is it to you guys to kind of get back on the horse and play to your standard and, you know, down the stretch, these, these final two or three ball games? Well, it was very important. Um, you got to have a short-term memory at our position and, um, you know, take it one game at a time, one week at a time, and, uh, you know, take practice very seriously and our preparation very seriously. So that's what we do heading into each week, uh, trying, to, trying to find something to get better at. Next, we'll go to Mark Weiser and then Anthony Dasher. I can kind of uh, piggybacking on that a little bit from uh, the defensive perspective uh, entirely. I want to ask you kind of what Coach Landing's message has been to you guys, uh, you know, what strings he's tried to pull to keep you guys uh, with the right mindset as you guys have had, you know, some games that have been pretty tough in terms of outcomes and, and yards given up and stuff like that. You know, what's his uh, demeanor been with you guys? Well, it's, it's been positive. But, uh, the main message he tries to preach to us is, Stay ready so you have to get ready. So, you know, everything starts with, you know, practice, your preparation. Uh, make sure you're taking notes in meetings and, you know, you're not making the same mistake over and over again. Hey, Tyson, good to see you. Uh, kind of jumping back, I guess, to the first question you were asked about about last week, as far as the, the seniors you go, and I know you kind of touched on that, that a little bit, but what, kind, what was their initial reaction about having their senior day I guess pulled out from under and what kind of things were you hearing from those guys? Every, well, you no, know, everyone was disappointed, uh, you know, about the game being canceled. And, you know, especially being there on Friday, you know, knowing that you yeah, had one more day till you, you could have played the game and then, you know, Friday is taken from you. So, you know, everyone was disappointed. Uh, but uh, I mean, everyone know they had to move on. So, you know, hopefully, you know, next week we could be able to send those seniors off, you know, out of San Francisco Stadium, victorious, but right now it's on Missouri. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Jed May and then Connor Riley. 
Uh, hey, Tyson, I, I asked Karis this too, but how has this team just dealt with the, all the frustrations that come with this season? You know, game postponements, you know, kind of following COVID protocols all the time. Just how, how frustrating has it been and how has this team sort of dealt with that, you know, going on several months now? Uh, it's been very frustrating, but uh, everyone, you know, everyone is, is still, you know, trying to do the right thing. So, you know, try to follow the right rules so that we, we can have opportunity, you know, to play, um, even though sometimes the chances, you know, are against us sometimes. But, you know, everyone just tries to stay ready and do the right things so that we, we can have a higher chance of, you know, finishing this season off. Hey, Tyson, you were someone that, as a freshman, came in and started right away at that cornerback position. How difficult of a transition was that for you going from high school in one year to starting at an SEC level the next year? Um, it was something to get used to, uh, but I think as the season progressed, you know, I got used to the tempo and the way of the game. So, you know, it, it just took a little time you know, uh, for me to get comfortable, you know, in that environment. But, you know, I think it helped me and mold me better. Next, we'll go to Augusta Stone, and then we'll open it up for the final two questions. Hey, Tyson. Um, we've kind of talked a little bit about, you know, some of the positives of, of playing a team and having a game plan, you know, beforehand and then having to play these games, you know, again, in theory, uh, prepare for them again, at least. So I want to know what are some of the challenges with having to, to look at a team again? You've already looked at a couple weeks ago, you know, this week with Missouri and then also next week with Vanderbilt. Um, just knowing that they can, you know, change something uh, that they've, they've done, you know, uh, after the weeks we were supposed to play them, after they get a pushback, they, you know, they can change something in their offense or change the personnel or something like that. So, you know, we just got to, you know, figure out what those things were and and just uh, plan a game plan off of that. Now we'll open it up if anyone wants to jump in. Hey, Tyson, uh, Missouri has, you know, kind of – led by Larry Roundtree, but they've also got Tyler Beatty, who, you know, catches a lot of guys – or catches a lot of passes in the backfield. And they're kind of similar to Texas A&M's, uh, you know, run, two running backs last year that had that same capability of, you know, rushing the ball and, and, having, and having, you know, those yards out of the backfield. How do you guys prepare for um, something like that? Uh, like we always do, you know, uh, watch film and uh, – Listen to the coaches, uh, and you know, but the main thing is just watching film and you know, studying your opponent. Would anyone like the final question for Tyson? Tyson, how will you be uh, approaching, um, you know, after your last two games of the regular season, kind of you know, the decision about the NFL being a, a junior that that uh, you know is eligible? Uh, can you repeat the question? Yeah, being that you're a junior that's draft eligible, how, how are you going to approach kind of what's your plan to, you know, play out the season and then, you know, tackle that question with family and advisors and things like that? Um, I haven't given it much thought. You know, the main thing was just trying to finish off the season. And after that, you know, I'll, you know, sit down with my family and hopefully, you know, come up with the best decision for me. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tyson. Have a great rest of your Monday. Everyone, thank you for joining us today.